All right, this um, video is in response to a question from a friend of mine who was having issues with their Mac running slowly and what they could do to help speed up their Macintosh. Uh, so this is going to be a software-only fix. Um, there are hardware fixes that will help speed up your computer as well, um, and that and that actually needs uh, memory upgrades and uh, disk upgrades. So uh, that's a different video. But for what you can do from a, a home user's point of view, um, a couple different steps here to speed things up on your Apple Macintosh running OS X or OS X. Uh, first of all, what we're going to talk about here is we're going to go to Malwarebytes and download an anti-malware um, program that's free. And if you're still thinking that Macs are impervious to viruses and spyware, then you should really take a hard look at uh, the internet and do some searching on that. And, and Macs are no longer, uh, or never were actually, uh, impenetrable to viruses and spyware. It's just that they, because they were so unpopular, people never wrote software for them. But now that Macs are becoming more popular, there's more spyware, there's more viruses, and so you really do need to at least do a clean and a and a spyware clean every now and then. And to do that, the best way to do it is to with Malwarebytes. It's a free free download. You can check the the comments of this. Um, video and actually look at the, the link that I'll provide for you. Uh, one thing to be aware of is that you want the file for Apple and not the file for PC. So if, whatever you download, you're going to want to make sure it ends in .dmg, which stands for disk image, as opposed to .exe. Uh, an .exe file is for PCs, a .dmg file is for Macintosh. So you're going to want to make sure that it's a Malwarebytes file that ends in .dmg. Uh, you're going to click on that. You're going to let it run through its installation. Um, once it installs, you're going to let it do a scan. Uh, and I'll, uh, once this happens here, I'll show you guys the next step that you're going to do. Um, so you're going to actually take this program, drag it into the applications, and then you can actually go over here in your applications, uh, find Malwarebytes, which is going to be here. Double click it, let it open. Um, we can close this now, we can close this now, we can close that now, and also be, be aware to eject uh, this as well. You don't need that anymore once you've done the installation. You can accept the uh, license agreement, you're going to put in your password, that's the user password that has admin rights on the machine, you're going to hit scan. And so what that's going to do is that's going to then scan your computer for all, or actually it's going to look for updates first, and then so make sure you're connected to the internet when you're doing this. Um, so you're going to hit scan, it's going to look through all the list of uh, different spyware places. The spyware can hide in a lot of different places on a Mac. Um, it can be in the system preferences, it can be in the user preferences, it can be in the plist files, it can be all over the place. And so Malwarebytes does a really good job of finding all the next, or all the different pieces of spyware that are out there. So I'm going to pause the video here while this scans and we'll resume here. So the scan is complete and fortunately it didn't find anything. So if your computer does show a message here that says that it did find uh, some malware, you can follow through the next steps of either removing it or quarantine, quarantining it, uh, depending on what the software recommends. I would just follow along with whatever the default um, you know, uh, solution that the software uh, is providing for you. Uh, the next step we're going to look at is we can close this. We're going to go up here to the spotlight where you can hit the command and space button and then you're going to type in disk, and that's going to bring up disk utility. Um, and this is a, um, a, a part of this, what I'm doing right now, you should do on at least a monthly basis, if not, uh, you know, bi-monthly. Um, this is a permissions fix, and permissions just get out of whack um, in Apple uh, uh, operating systems, and, and it's a good routine maintenance, uh, preventative maintenance thing to help speed things up and help keep things running properly. Um, and to, to do a permissions fix, what you're going to do is you're going to go and click on your main hard drive, which is here. It's going to be the one at the top, um, and then this is the physical disk here, and then this is the, the sort of mounted hard drive that's the virtual disk or the uh, where the operating system lives is on the this partition right here. And so you're going to click on that. Yours doesn't necessarily have to say Macintosh HD. Your, yours might say Mac HD, or yours might say whatever. Uh, you can rename this to be whatever it is. But it's basically going to be the first um, the first disk in uh, that's underneath your physical disk here, and it's going to be the one that houses the operating system. I'm going to click on the first aid tab, and then down here you're going to go to repair disk permissions. And what this is going to do is going to give you a little estimate here of how long it's going to take, um, depending on how big your hard drive is, depending on how how fast your hard drive is, if it's a solid state drive, if it's a, if it's a spinning disk, um, how much free space you have. This could take anywhere from one minute to up to an hour. Um, so basically you're just going to let this run, let it go through all of its uh, permission fixes, and then we'll pause the video here and we'll come back when it's finished. So our disk permissions uh, repair has been completed. You can see that it shows the finished message down here. 
Um, and again, what you should do is, is run that about at least once a month, um, I would say at a minimum. It's okay if you don't run it once a month, but it's definitely routine maintenance. It's something you want to do fairly often. Um, and you're going to want to close this X and then to, that'll get you out of disk utility. Uh, another thing to talk about, or actually the final final two steps here involve um, closing of applications and restarting the computer. Um, and the, finally the last step is what's called a PRAM reset. Um, but first of all I'd like to talk about what open applications and how that can slow up, slow your, your system down. Um, you can see here with the doc, uh, these, these are all a list of applications that are just in the doc. They're not necessarily open. Uh, the only way to tell that they're open is it has a little dot right there. And some people who have older versions of the software might see a little blue line uh, next to their app. But the dot indicates that the application is open. And what you're going to want to do is you're definitely going to want to close or quit. So you're going to long press on the app and go to quit whenever you're not using that application. The more and more things you have that are open, the more system resources they use, and the slower your, your uh, Mac is going to run. So closing open applications is a huge, uh, let's a, a huge way to make your Mac faster. It's going to free up a lot of system resources and memory, um, and allow the the system to run faster. The next thing involves rebooting your computer. I see so many people that never, ever, ever, ever reboot their machine. All they do is shut their lid, uh, and what that does is put the computer to sleep. And then um, that the repetitive action of putting the computer to sleep and waking it back up over time ends up slowing it down. So definitely restart or shut down your computer at least once a week, probably more often than that. Um, but you know, it's good, it just clears out things in memory, it clears out things in the cache and just starts it fresh. Um, and it'll definitely see, you'll, you'll definitely see that it'll speed things up. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this computer down, and then I'm going to take a little cell phone video here for the final part of this video uh, that shows you how to do a PRAM reset, which will be the third and final piece uh, to helping getting your Mac running faster. All right, this is the third and final step here. So we have a, a MacBook Pro here that's off. And when I mean off, I mean it's shut down. Uh, you know, there's nothing going on on the computer right now. It's completely turned off. You, the, this is a two-part step here. So you're going to press the power button. And before you hear the chime, so immediately after pressing and letting go of the power button, you're going to hold down the Option, the Command key, the P, and the R key all at the same time. And so again, it's going to be press and release, and then hold down four buttons until you hear the computer chime and you're gonna let it chime three times and then release the buttons and the computer will power back on. So here we go, ready, press and release, PR, command option, hold, I'm gonna listen. Just keep holding. Or not. Hit the power button, there we go. I had some doubts there, so it takes a while sometimes. And again, you're going to wait three times. And then let go. And now the computer will boot up normally. It might take a little bit longer for it to start up, um, but you're going to let it reboot all the way. Wait, wait till you get to the login screen. Go ahead and log in your computer as normal, and you're all set. So that's uh, a quick little video here on how to speed up your Mac. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.